For most of us here in the metro, there is a separate set of guidelines. Kansas City, Missouri is prepared for a soft reopening on Wednesday, while Jackson, Johnson, and Wyandotte counties are waiting until next Monday, May 11th, to begin the process. So if you live in Kansas City, what does a soft reopening look like? Mayor Quentin Lucas laid out the city's 10-10-10 plan earlier this week. That means no more than 10% capacity inside larger businesses and no more than 10 people inside smaller businesses. And anyone who spends more than 10 minutes at a time inside a particular business will need to give their contact information to help with contact tracing should outbreaks occur. We think our rules are balanced. We think our rules are among the best in this region that look to public health but also look to how we can reopen responsibly. To the north, Play and Platt and Clay counties will be opening along with the state of Missouri tomorrow. And earlier today, KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar found a lot of business owners are preparing with some mixed feelings. Salon de Bella and Liberty will open bright and early tomorrow morning on an appointment only basis. It's going to be different for probably a long time, but it's better than not being able to be here at all. Seven stylists work out of their building, but only two will work at a time tomorrow. Things have been rearranged to maintain social distancing, and stylists are prepared to clean more extensively and work with masks on themselves and clients. If we have to, we'll just have to have them hold it while we're doing that part. But, you know, we're confident that we can make that work. Demand for hair appointments is high, but the experience won't be the same. Our clients are used to a more luxurious, long appointment that ends with a blow dry and, you know, a lengthy conversation. And tomorrow, I think it's going to be about necessity. The stylists are nervous, but also... We're all very excited. We've talked in the back like it was the first day of school is tomorrow. Businesses in Platte County are allowed to reopen tomorrow as well. Just on this one street in Platte County, we found business owners who are excited about it, who aren't comfortable with doing that yet, and Frank's Italian Restaurant, who's going to wait a couple days because they feel like they didn't have enough time to prepare. We're planning to open actually uh, softly on uh, Wednesday. Ali Mazoon sent his reopening plan to the Platte County Health Department for approval last week. It includes having guests write down their contact information on an index card before entering the restaurant. Tables will be spaced more than six feet apart, patio seating preferred. There will be paper menus, paper tablecloths, and... Paper plates and uh, yeah, paper napkins and, uh, and plastic forks and spoons. That was a suggestion from the federal guidelines for restaurants. Going by the guidelines uh, from the uh, federal, state, and local and combine them all and to follow all the safeties. Each Parkville business is going about things differently. Platte County health officials say they'll be doing spot checks to make sure each one is complying with the ever-changing guidelines. Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.